This week, I will show you how to graft a rootstock, some scion, a grafting tool, and the supplies needed to make your own trees. Apple in this case. Stay tuned. So here's our setup. We got some rootstock and we're gonna do, it's been raining for a bit. We're gonna do a little bit of grafting right here on the bench. It's very damp out. So these are our rootstock. We did last fall, take a look at that video when we harvested rootstock. Mm. So this is what they look like now that we've taken them out there in very nice shape. They got nice roots. What we're gonna do is just put them in the vise because you know this is the right device for it. The right device. <laughs> so these are rootstock. We could put two in at a time. We want to graft about six inches, 15 centimeters from the roots. So we put two in at a time because it allows us to work on two. We're gonna do a movement. We'll do it for both. So there it is. We just wanna know that we're nice and snug. We're gonna use a cultivar and we got a few here that we collected. These are our best ones. Don't miss it. Pay attention. Nova Spy. Nova Scotia did a great job of developing some great scab resistant cultivars. Nova Mac. Red Free. I think that's from New Jersey or something like that. And one developed by Agriculture Canada, Bell Mac. Those of you who like Macintosh, Sorry, it's one of the worst apples to grow. Don't grow it because it's totally a very scabby cultivar. So what we want to do is we've got Belmac going to we started. We want to get a scion. So this is the one that will be fruiting. This is the one that will be the root. That's why it's called a root stock. And these are the ones we want to grow on it. So we just have to join the two. It's a happy marriage. You know, you want one to go along well with the other. So how do we do it? We try to find a good match in size. So we gotta look, we're gonna be grafting about here, that height. So we're looking for a match in size. So that looks about right. The closer you are to match the size, that diameter is the same like that. And I'll show you a little later. If they don't match in size, what do you do? So we know that this is a good point to, to join these two. So all we'll have to do, and you don't want to be chit-chatting while you're doing this. When you cut, you want to go. So we choose a spot between two buds. Here's a bud and here's a bud. So we'll want to cut in between these two buds. We put it in the tool right in this groove here. You see that groove? It's groovy. <laughs> And so we put it in the groove so that when we make our cut, we're actually right in the middle. You see that? We'll be right in the middle there. We want to hold on to something. Snap it. Try to do it in one small motion. So here I am right in the middle. Now I just pop it off. So here is my roots. My, what is this? Rootstock or scion? Come on, answer. This is my scion. And we want it where we match. So we looked at it and it should be about here. Again, we want to choose between two buds. We don't want to cut. Why don't you want to cut? It's like catching a knot in a tree when you're trying to split wood. It's always hardest when you catch a bud spot. So here I am between both. I'll just, that's, oh, that's not a nice one. I thought I was, see how that's not nice? It's, it's not centered at all. That's not good. So let me do that one over, try to get much better in the middle. That's better. So I got my, and now we join the two of them. And in fact, now I see that it's not a perfect match, but then I'll show you what it's like. So ideally you want the two to have been a good match. I can recut this to find where I'll be exactly the same size. But I'll show you now, since I did it, 
where how to do if they don't match so if they don't match all you need to concern yourself with is so that it matches on one side so that's cambium to cambium and if it's smooth here you know that your cambiums match now one of your supplies the grafting parafilm you can get these in any place that supplies for laboratory equipment it's the same stuff they use to waterproof beakers mm -hmm. and test tubes and today I said I should keep this in my pocket because it's not warm enough and it, cr it breaks rather than it should pull nicely and stretch but it's breaking because it's a little too cool so you want to stretch it a bit before you pull it stretch and pull stretch and pull see it should be talking to you it says oh, you're stretching me to the limit of what i can take that's good stretch and pull it's all right to go over it more than once because what you want the parafilm what it does is it really waterproofs your joint you see there's no joint showing and so now i am not going to be losing any water from that joint and that's what you want you don't want this little scion piece to be losing water you want it to conserve all the water that's in it and i had a little too much that i needed but that's okay when you finish just stretch it a little and break it off now that's the part that holds the water in and some people do it the other way around some people put the elastic listen it's like most things in life there's more than one way to do it now the step of the elastic is to hold the two together really really well you don't want this one moving so what the way i like to start it is i put the tongue sticking up just hold it now you see that i've been working outside my hands are nice and dirty you say i think he's always just talking he's never doing yeah i've been doing so hold it get it to catch oop losing it i'm losing it captain i need more power captain it's the dilithium crystals captain they're breaking up <laughs> hold on scotty we're gonna get it there we go we got it scotty now can you see how nice and tight that is banjo banjo gonna play the banjo charlie mcgee should add a song to this do you don't know Charlie McGee, permaculture songwriter? Formidable vegetable sound system. We're gonna grow a garden. Dee -dee. We're gonna grow a garden. Gonna grow a garden. My dad's dunny doesn't flush. <laughs> my, I had that all weekend in my head. My dad's <laughs> dunny doesn't flush. <laughs> and a dunny in Australia is, oh, is the bathroom my dad's dunny so you see i didn't explain to you what i did but i made a little loop and i passed it through the loop just play it back it's youtube you can do that and that's it it's tied off now the key is is it finished no it's not finished we'll put a little bit of we have this gra grafting paste and you'll find different ones this one's from deutschland so you just take a little bit and all you want to do in fact, is that a fresh cut? I'm not sure if it's a fresh cut. One, two, three buds. No, I got four buds. So let's make a fresh cut. There, that's a fresh cut. And now we don't want this to lose any water. That's, we do a lot of effort not for it not to lose water. So we just need to cover all the pieces. Once there's no white, you know you're not losing water. And so that one is done. Do not handle it by the scion don't handle it by there you handle it by the rootstock and that's it so i'll leave that one in there just to show you and we'll do this one because we do have a big one here let's do it up here where we can take the bottom match to that you say my piece of wood is crooked hey life is like that and everything nothing's always going to be straight so let me just cut off this this rotten piece and now match it up here that looks like perfect about right here so i'll put a crooked one on so you could see that even if it's not perfect it'll work fine so what do we do we put it in the groove try to match up halfway 
try to do one fall one snap and that cuts it nice let's match our spot up again we're right good right about there we're between between two buds let's do some production man let's get this party going now I can handle this whole big stick and I can put it on but I do want to cut it off before I start messing with it so let me count my buds one two three buds up here and I'll have enough with this to do one more so I'll just put it aside what's next I hear you I hear you the grafting wax that's been warming up in my pocket hopefully doesn't break so much take a 15 centimeter six inch piece make sure my two sides see this one look at that hey, look at the sizing of that you feel it smooth on both sides that's nice you want that like that if you can ah it's still breaking boo it's breaking it's just still breaking my heart we're having fun here it's got to be fun if you're not having fun you got to wonder what the heck are you doing what are you working on that's not having fun you gotta have fun we're gonna grow a garden we're gonna grow a garden well we're gonna grow a permaculture orchard here charlie i'm gonna have to send you the two the lyrics for a song about the permaculture orchard so that's the what does what stage does that do waterproofing now let's do the hold it strong so put the tongue up Put your finger on, go around. Hear those kestrels? The males bringing food to the female. They've got eggs. They're gonna be raptors in the in the orchard. See, now that it's caught, I don't have to hold the elastic. Oh, first time this time. First time. First time. And then we just go around and around and around. And notice there's one little detail is I'm starting at the bottom going up. Why? Mm -hmm. Because now these overlap like shingles on a roof so if there's water it'll always run off it won't go in you don't want water coming into your cut isn't that lovely hearing that kestrel now i don't have enough to keep going because it's a bigger piece of wood so here's how i tied it off i just put my finger in i get this little loop here to go in through up <coughs> and I grab that little piece that came through the loop just pull it snug and there you go so is that finished so then I just put a little bit of this Deutschland grafting paste you don't see any white oh, I do you do oh boo there are we good we're good and now the the power film gives it waterproof that keeps it waterproof the elastic keeps the whole thing quite firm we can hold this do we hold here no so we just loosen them i like this little vice it's the right device for the job did you get that the right device for the job now let's let's plant them just in our container here just to show you how we're lining them out and so we just put the you don't want to touch this mm -hmm. as much as possible I should put a little more sand even but that's all you just want to cover up these roots because otherwise you'll get right to the root of the problem and find that you your rootstock dried up a bit obviously i'm not planting them in here this is just while we're producing this we'll put them in here just hold them here for a few hours either plant them later this afternoon or they can we'll water this down and they can be planted out in the nursery tomorrow morning ideally so you go find some trees it's a little too late to get it now if you didn't get them now you probably won't we're about as far north as you're going to be doing this so if you don't have some and we kept these in the fridge go see that about how we gather and and store uh, scions 
So we put these in the fridge. Now we take them out. Now we can use them. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Isn't that easy? You can do that. If I can do it, I tell you for sure you can do it. I'm not very good at this stuff and I don't usually do it. I can show you how to do it, but I'm not very meticulous. So if I can do it, you can do it. And so just find some scions that you can graft, find some rootstock. And even if you did use a seedling tree, you can use a seedling. It'll just give you a way bigger tree, but seedlings work. It's just a technique. And this is one of many techniques for grafting. Maybe I'll show you another technique another day, but this is it for today. Table grafting, you could do this in March. We could have done this in the winter. That would have made a lot of sense, but I don't plan that much ahead. It's today is a good day. Let's do this today. Go out there, get your orchard started, get two trios planted. If you didn't see that video, go see that. Start with two trios, but just start. Go see that video, just start. And get your trees going. And if you say, oh, well, I can't do it, I didn't do it, go buy some trees and get started. Get going on your project. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. Oh, we even get applause this week. Hey, please subscribe and check out our latest video. Captain, I need more power, Captain. It's the dilithium crystals, Captain. They're breaking up.